Hello and welcome to my update about what is on the agenda for the next council meeting on Thursday the 29th of September. So I'm putting up a mirror minute uh, following the issues we had with Sydney Water predominantly in Lancove North. And um, what I'm seeking is that council formally writes to Sydney Water to provide some feedback that really Sydney Water didn't contact council at all to give any updates about what was happening for the four days that many of our residents were without water. And also to call on our local member and the Minister for Water and the Shadow Minister for Water in the New South Wales Parliament to conduct an inquiry. And what I'm uh, seeking is uh, Sydney Water needs to improve how they communicate with local authorities uh, if there is an issue with a prolonged water outage. And uh, that's what I'm seeking that council does on behalf of our community uh, following those stressful few days for a lot of our residents. Now, there's a number of notices of motion that have been put forward by various councillors. Uh, we've got one that uh, council uh, shall not uh, take any sponsorship dollars from developers for any of our local events. Uh, there's a proposal that council investigate ways uh, to stop the um, advertising on fossil fuels uh, at council events and in our area. Uh, there's also a proposal for council to potentially stop um, hosting events uh, when the Melbourne Cup is on. So there are um, some notices of motion that are before council. Uh, being September, uh, council resolved at the beginning of this term that every year the deputy mayor position will be up for re-election. So at the September meeting, there will be a vote for who will be our deputy mayor for the next year until September 2023. Uh, the big one for this agenda is the proposal for council to adopt the concept plan uh, for the sport and recreation facility at 180 River Road. Uh, basically, there's two revised concepts that the architects have worked on and what is called option two uh, is what is proposed. And if that is adopted by council, uh, essentially, that work will continue on refining those designs and it's proposed that in October then our council would adopt a final set of designs to submit to the Sydney North Planning Panel uh, for an assessment because council cannot approve its own development application. A few other big things that uh, are of note, we've got a Lane Co Village and St Leonard's parking study with some proposed changes to our village so it is proposed that that will go on community consultation. Also we are uh, Hopefully, or not hopefully, it's proposed that we'll adopt our uh, community garden uh, policy, so how council supports uh, many of the community gardens. And a big one, something that we campaigned on, a toy library. So we've got a expression of interest from the Sydney Library of Things as an organisation to operate the toy library at 47 Burns Bay Road. So something uh, very excited to see progress on that. So there you go, there's a whole uh, list of other small items there, but I think they're the main uh, items there. Uh, on Tuesday night, uh, I'll be holding my regular community Zoom. So if you've got any questions, please Zoom in for that. And of course, uh, please send me an email uh, if you've got any questions or like to share some feedback. Thank you.